just just on a couple of points that um yeah. come up from from one of your tweets and actually on our most recent short convo with um Cy Gart, yeah just some some atheist comments on there like i'd just be interested in your your opinion on this as well dan the the most common thing to be dropped is like just give me one piece of evidence that yeah. your god exists um well let's 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 ask that question what what, what is your response if someone for, for me i struggle with the question because genuinely i've heard that so much it is like a red flag to me they don't I, because I, I generally suggest a uh, a position you've already made up that there isn't one, no matter what I do. But w- if someone came to you and said, "Give me one piece of evidence," and they they're genuine sort of friendship, what what kind of response would you give them? Me or Dan? Go on, D- Dean. You start, and Dan can jump in. <laughs> yeah, an argument. Of, but I, I think like you. I think most ninety percent of it, they're just saying you've got no evidence, and whatever you say, you can say consciousness, and you can lay out like it's more ideal on this form you can just do a simple probabilistic point x equals this x y equals that kind of thing and say if you on naturalism it's very improbable improbable that consciousness will arrive but on a theistic worldview when you've already got a mind thing and this is saying real atheology and sexual outposts have actually posted in the past so that there are atheists who know this and literally put this forward as an argument and other atheists attack them then and I've seen it, and I thought consciousness is a good idea because there's no simple naturalistic explanation for that at all. Um, I've even heard like those people like Daniel Dennett who basically denies there's even a problem of consciousness and things like that, so that they have to go around it that way. So you can mention consciousness, that that's something which they can they know is a struggle scientifically. Mm-hmm. You can mention uh, the Kalam cosmological argument, but there's so many atheists who are just trained to attack that specific argument because they probably heard Christian apologists and defenders yeah. constantly say it. So what they tend to do now, they do what Dillahunty does. They they don't even argue the points. They accept all the points and say, well, you still haven't got God. Yeah. The universe had a yeah, I saw, saw Dillahunty doing that with the yeah. Kalam the other day. Yeah. He does it. And now they all do that. And so they've been doing that for a while. And Dillahunty's like master doing that. Well, you've just got a cause. So what... what what is this cause? And, and, and then, as Braxton said in vin- videos, well, you can sort of determine from the cause that it's timeless, it's spaceless, it's not part of, it's not matter. It's, mm. it's not, it has to be something different at, external from that. And mm. it has to be very extremely powerful to create that, the extremely great knowledge to get the fine tuning like that. Mm. So th- there are things, but it's not, if you just look at the three point syllogism, it doesn't technically say like Matt Dillon says. Where does it say God in that? Yeah. Where does it say so God exists? Yeah. So it's going to build off of, isn't it? That's that's the thing. And that, that, yeah. that was Braxton Hunter pointed out really well. Yeah. So you, yeah. You'd, you'd personally lean towards those sort of arguments, Dan. Where, where would you go with it? Uh, I don't know. I want to. It depends where it is. I mean, if it was Twitter, I just I don't. I only use Twitter for work. I don't post anything on there really like this anymore. Um, it's just. It's probably best to stay off it, to be honest. I just wasted too much time to. It just, it just <laughs> makes it just. Today. Yeah. It just lends it just lends itself to uh, to unhelpful discussion. But if I was like chatting with someone who was asking that, I'd be like, well, um, what 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 kind of evidence would you uh, would you would you accept? Like if I if if we if I if we looked at. The, the back door and we looked up in the sky and it said um you know god exists i said would that would that be enough evidence to 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 remove you know to move you from atheism to theism um and i'd listen to what they said you know if they said well yeah you know depending on that i kind of move forward from that um other th- other things as well um you could talk about um I, I try and move someone to away from this from the evidence, but about is get people to identify like you're kind of like you were saying, Dean, like people like um uh secular outposts and things like that. I think it's J I can't remember who that is, who runs that account uh, website. Um try and get people to think like can can fears and be rational? Yeah. I think that's a good place to go to move away. Not I'm not trying to skirt around whether there's evidence or not, but I don't think I think people I'm not it, it's things a lot of atheists say that I'm not sure necessarily they understand what that means, but they could, you know, they, I think they often mean proof. They don't mean evidence. 
Uh, and I think there's there's a lot of misunderstanding, especially on Twitter, between proof and and, and, and evidence. And they're, they're very different. Um, but I, I would just try and get them to a point where they could see that, like you were saying about looking at the Kalam, uh, looking at fine tuning, looking at the moral argument, um, uh, resurrection, just just general proofs for God. You can kind of show, well, look, this that you, theism is rational, and, and and most sensible atheists like. You know, people like you said, like Graham Oppie, Paul Draper, like leading philosophers of religion yeah. who are also atheists, will say that theism is rational. Like it's it's not it's not you know clever atheists mm. and dumb hick Christians. Is it not? Yeah. Oh man! <laughs> but, but, but 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 you get both. You get atheists, you know, who don't present great great uh, you know arguments and you know against. You get Christians who don't present great arguments, or don't. You, in mm. fact, as a Christian, you don't even have to have. You don't even no. have to. You don't have to have arguments. Like if Christ has, if God has revealed Himself to you, uh, you know, you're convicted by the Holy Spirit. That's that's enough. Reformed, but, reformed epistemology, like Plan Z, Alvin Plan. Yeah, Zad, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, Randall Riles, so they they say you don't. It's a warranted belief. It's yeah, and I, I would I would 100 percent agree. I would agree with that. But yeah. but but yeah, that's what I try and do. I, but again, you can't do this on Twitter. But I would try and get people to the point where they can see, then they can at least admit that Christianity is it's rational. It can be rational to be a theist, and I think that's probably a much more helpful place to be rather than debating about evidence and proof and and things like that. Not that those things are not important, but I think in a, a you know chatting with someone who's genuinely interested in truth and is not just there to score points on Twitter, uh, I think. Uh, getting to the point, I think that was helpful in my journey. I imagine very much in yours as well is seeing that that theism is not, um, uh, you know, a belief that you know one can only hold uh, if you sort of check your brain at the door of the church and things mm. like that. No, like I couldn't. Be exact, yeah, it's yeah. rational. I don't want to. I don't want to believe anything that I think is untrue or yeah. I know to be untrue. Um, you can't. I don't even know if you can believe. Yeah, not at least not intentionally. Untrue, like, and it's it's that certainty aspect. I think Braxton Hunter actually did a helpful video on this. Is the idea of having this hundred percent proof certainty that something is true before I can believe it? And I think that's such a, that is an unhelpful way to view it. And I think that's what one hundred percent certain of anything no. other than I'm conscious now. You can't even be yeah. certain you exist and I'm talking to you. You, you, no. you can be pretty certain, like very very certain, but you can't be hundred percent certain of that. Yeah. So. And you're always doubting, uh, doubting. And I, I, what I like, so I mean, I, I'd probably maybe two years ago be very much along like the lines of, yeah, I'll go down the route of Kalam, um, looking at that consciousness, moral, moral was a big one for me. Even the problem of evil, because I think that's actually a fairly big thing. Like, why, why should I care about animal suffering, about any kind of suffering, if I'm, if I'm an atheist of any kind, whether it's a new atheist, whether it's an atheist who lacks belief, or whatever definition of atheist you want to use. I, I would probably have headed there, but I think more now than ever, I'm actually pushing more towards what the, the evidence within the Bible itself and, and Jesus and the resurrection. And I know many people would respond, oh, it's you're proving the Bible with the Bible, but just how real the Bible is with people's responses to Jesus all the way through the Gospels. They have these amazing signs, radical signs, radical healings, and most of them, don't even get it <laughs> they don't they don't go oh thank you some of them say thank you and leave and some of them are just like it's very clear they didn't believe so why atheists expect this sudden proof to really win them over just seems like um just ignoring human i like we we look at patterns and we we think what we want to think um it's very it is hard to transition either way but that applies both directions it applies for the christian moving to the atheist camp and it also applies the other way and I, I think there's good evidence to trust that jesus existed and there's a better explanation for why the christian church started so that's kind of where i would head and i, I don't know maybe a mix of the two because i did try the whole consciousness thing on the youtube debate but again it's but you still haven't given me one piece of evidence so it didn't go anywhere and that's generally how it goes on the internet but i don't i, I agree with you completely on that and the resurrection and to, and this is i find it really strong argument the resurrection i think it, there's no naturalistic uh, there are actually like hallucination theory swimming theory things like that but they just don't 
seem to make any sense whatsoever. Mm. And and they would just say, well, that's, they're all better than that because they don't evolve a supernatural aspect. So anything's more likely. But then you're just ruling out God from the offset. If you're going to look at it, well, there's definitely no God. Then of course that didn't happen. But so you kind of have to ground them. I see like you have to ground them with a little prior background knowledge of theism, even if they don't accept it fully, but just that so there's a possibility on the table and then go through the resurrection case. And like you said, the Bible using the Bible, that's a terrible objection because that we've got four gospels. Any historian would notice you've got four different testimonies. And yeah, they might use like Mark, was it Matthew Luke use Mark a little bit and th things like that in the synoptics, but You've got four different historical things of one guy at this time. It's, you use it as that. You can just use it like Mike Lacona and that and Gary Hammonds. This is it. This is a historical document. We're not, oh, because the Bible says so. It must be true. Mm. It's, it's, nobody does that. Well, some, yeah. some Christians don't do that. But yeah. if you're in a genuine, I've never said that. And I can't imagine you ever saying that. Yeah, well, it just shows them their understanding what the Bible is more yeah. than more than the argument.